So I restarted this podcast because I was going to say hello and welcome. And I was going to say hello in Hawaiian because this trip, we're going to Oahu. And then I froze on what hello in Hawaiian is. So apparently I'm a fucking idiot. So aloha, everyone. This is the best travel podcast in the universe that doesn't know any languages and hopefully it's popular in hawaii but maybe not now because i can't remember the easiest word on earth but like i said we're going to oahu which is surprisingly a really amazing place and i say surprisingly because i feel like whenever i've told people or asked about waikiki and oahu in Honolulu, they say, oh, it's just like an urban place. Don't go there. And I was like, all right. Now, don't get me wrong. Kauai, amazing. Maui, amazing. So I never went to Oahu because I was heard it was just like dirty and urban and blah, blah, blah. Couldn't be further from the truth. I loved Oahu. Now, you have to be like, know what you're getting into. But I loved what I was getting into. It literally was like New York on the beach. Now, it's obviously it's not New York, but it was just this urban city next to the beach. So I walked out doors to just like, you know, shops and coffee places and good restaurants and music and bars, uh, which Kauai and Maui don't have, by the way. Kauai, there's nowhere open past like 10 p.m. You can't, not like you go to party, but you want like a little nightlife. There's literally zero nightlife on Kauai. Incredible place, though. But anyways, back to Wahoo. Yeah, I loved it. And not only that, I was in Waikiki. I was 20 to 30 minutes from one of my favorite hikes I've ever done in my life. So while I've heard it's, oh, this urban, blah, 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 it literally was 25 minutes from, like, a stunning hike that I love. Yeah. So we'll get into it. You, you have to go. I also went because I just had a free weekend. And I was just, I do this thing where I'll search. Like, oh, where should I travel to? And you can do the explore page on Google, which is incredible. And you'll see the cheapest flight somewhere. I was like, Oahu, let's do it. And it was direct from Phoenix, unreal. So we're going to go the best places to eat, the top things to do. And uh, I'll sprinkle in a few great hikes along the way as well. Um, scrolling down. Oh, swim with sharks outside of a cage. Whenever I do this look and feel, I feel like I, in the hangover. No, not the hangover. Semantics. Um, wedding crashers. White trash. Hillbilly. Swim with sharks in Oahu. I don't know what I was doing there. You outside of a cage and there's just like giant eight to 12 feet sharks just swimming around you. Like it seemed like a good idea. And then you're in the boat and you realize like, oh, this is like seeing these sharks swim around. And you like, oh, this is real. Like I've done like in San Diego where you can go off the beach in La Jolla and swim with like these little nurse sharks and snorkel around. Nothing like that. This is the open ocean and you're seeing things three times the size of you or more swim next to the boat as they're telling you, okay, time to get in. I don't get scared often. I do. I don't like scary movies, um, but it is terrifying. But once you're in the water, it's cool. Once you kind of adjust one of the most amazing things I've ever done. And there was a tiger shark that visited us right before we got in the water. So our guide was like, oh, tiger shark. <laughs> I don't know what that accent was. I was just getting excited. Um, They're white. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a tiger shark came around and like, okay, it's gone. Now we can get in. So that was interesting. So it's real. I mean... But once you're in there, it's peaceful. You see them swimming below you. You never really get too, too close. Uh, you're never supposed to get, you stay above them. I guess that's like a, a rule of shark, not getting shark attacked. I don't know if that's a rule, but they said don't go below. Them, so I didn't. Um, but yeah, they're harmless. Barring something crazy. It's a surreal experience uh, swimming around these giant sharks. I use Ocean One Diving. One ocean diving, they're a good spot uh, to use. I think it was like a hundred or so dollars, about one fifty. I can't remember, but totally worth it. I think it was a half day trip. 
cool. I have to do it. It's on the North shore of uh, Oahu. <clears throat> they might do it on, I don't think they do it on the South shore, but uh, number two, we're talking unique things as well. Cause I mean, I can tell you, Oh, go to Pearl Harbor. No, I'm not going to tell you that. You don't need me to tell you go to Pearl Harbor. Uh, a local and a friend of mine, incredible man, Eric, great, attractive man. If he's single right now, ladies, just message him. Uh, funniest guy. I'm going to text him actually right now and tell him I'm talking about him. I miss him. Um, should have had him on this podcast. Oh, did I drop the ball? Maybe we'll redo one with him. Yes. I mean, okay. Uh, anyways, cocktails and brunch at Hua Tree. How Tree? Hua Tree. How Tree. I pronounce it wrong all the time. And then chill at Kaimana Beach, which is right next to that. So How Tree is like the best restaurant that I loved in terms of it's a little pricey, but it's just on a patio outside of Waikiki, like 15 minutes. The sand is 10 times prettier than like right in the little town and cool drinks, great staff, you know, good food. Never go to Dick's. Do not. Dick's is the worst place on earth. Don't go to Dick's. It's like, it was, it was cool. 80 in like the eighties when it was the only thing there and they had live music. The food is God awful. The service is terrible. It's like where, uh, like our grandparents would go or even my, not my parents, but other people's parents would go in their Hawaiian shirts to like, Ooh, we're in Hawaii. It's right in the middle of Waikiki. And I'll post this in like forums and a lot of people who know will agree with me, but like random tourists will not They're like, Oh no. It's like, how many times have you been to Hawaii or traveled? It is a tourist trap shithole. Don't go to dicks. It's literally the worst food I've ever had. Um, and there was a guy playing, uh, what's that guy? Just like the old shitty music that you hate that you can imagine that you'd play in Hawaii. And um, yeah, so How Tree is where you need to go. It's Hua Tree or How Tree? I, I may have misspelled it on my site, but the water is gorgeous. The ambiance is gorgeous. It is expensive. It's like $9 on a beer and $15 plus for a cocktail, but the perfect beach day. Um, and then maybe you can always have like your own cooler when you go to the beach and sit on there and drink if you want. But so one lifetime thing, Hawaii is expensive already. If you're going to Hawaii, it's going to be expensive. So that's just the truth. You're, if you don't want to have an expensive holiday, go to Mexico, go to Costa Rica. Costa Rica is kind of expensive too. Nicaragua, go to Peru while well, the flight's long, cheap as hell. Um, but yeah. Hawaii is expensive. Oahu is expensive, but yeah, that's that. Uh, the best hike I've ever done in Oahu and one of my favorite hikes I've ever done. I would say it's top, it's definitely top five. Um, Olamana Trail, which is also known as Three Peaks Trail. It is one of the hardest hikes, like day hikes I've done. It's no joke. You have to rappel a little bit. It can get pretty sketchy. I would say most average hiker or first person can make at least the first peak, which is really pretty. And a lot of people turn around at the first peak because then if you go to the third peak, then it starts getting rough. So, um, but do it. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Go to the article that I'll put in this and just see some of the pictures. And then after that, get zippies, which is like their fast food, almost like their McDonald's, except it's not like McDonald's. It's um, like Hawaiian food, like the Korean ribs. Oh my God. Get some of that. It's just sloppy fast food. But I got a ton of it and just went to the beach. I got, we were starving after that hike, got some zippies, went to the beach. Perfect day. Um, kayak, another thing to do, kayak to your own secret Island and chill on the beach. Moko Nui again, sorry, pronunciations, but imagine just being on the beach that you can only reach by kayak with a few other souls as you lay on the island off the mainland of Oahu. It's beautiful. Um, and sure, it's not maybe a secret island, but it's cool. It's almost five miles to the island and back, and you leave from Kailua Beach Park, where there's a lot of kayak rental companies. So if you want to adventure, pack a lunch, a couple of drinks, and go sit on that private island with a you know handful of other people. I will get to other restaurants to eat, but a thing you have to do as a top thing to eat is eat authentic Hawaiian food at Helena's. 
So you must try authentic Hawaiian food. This one's a staple. It's a little tiny place in like a locals area. It's busy. There's a long wait. Um, but the people are unreal. Uh, the way they host you and the food is unique. I didn't love it. Um, it's worth diving into. And I tried all the weird stuff. Uh, you can't really go wrong with pork ribs. Um, but the rest was interesting. So then you have to go to the North Shore. So the North Shore is infamous for surfing, as you know. And there's TV shows there. It's sexy and magical beaches. H Halewa has like there's you can stop at shops along the way there. Uh, start the perfect day at the Sunrise Shack, which is this like smoothie bowl place, acai bowls. And it's just a little off the side of the road. It's awesome. And then you either had to get surf lessons at Koala Bay Beach. Uh, maybe even see turtles. Or head to the stunning and enormous Waimea uh, Bay Beach. And great. And there's a little food land next to Waimea Beach. It's hard to find parking. That's for sure. At the beach, not the food land. And you grab some drinks, some snacks, and just hang out at that beach it's massive it's so wide the stands are beautiful the water's beautiful um and after the day at the beach go to halewa and get honos shrimp truck for their spicy shrimp plate not giovanni's i giovanni's is a famous one it shouldn't be i don't understand why it is a famous one it's not good sorry um giovanni's honos oh the flavor that's great then maybe you saunter down the road to get some shave ice. You don't call it shaved ice. It's just shave ice. They're very particular about that. Another thing to do, hike Lanakai Pillbox. Get Konos, another great place to eat, to go and head to the beach. So it's a little perfect day of a little hike, some food, beach. And Lanakai Pillbox is on the east side. Not a hard hike. It starts out like hard for seven seconds. It's like a little steep, but literally seven seconds. And it's kind of, it's steep, but it's nothing insane. I would say it's moderate hike to do. And then you, after you finish the hike, get online and order from the famous Konos. And I, again, I just ordered a million things. Order that to go as quickly as you can, even before you're done the hike, because it takes like 30 minutes or 45 minutes because it's so busy. Drive into Lanakai, I think, right? Yeah. And then get the food and then come right back to where you parked for the hike and go to the beach. Again, parking is chaos, but park in the same area where you parked for the hike and you'll be fine. Another amazing beach. This is also where you can go out to Moko Nui if you can find a kayak rental place. But yeah, if you or you just go, it's close to where you can get the kayaks if you don't go back to that other beach. And you can coke, take that food to kayak out to the beach. But that's a lot. That's a rough day. Hiking, then kayaking. I mean, I would do it, but not all of us. The best place to watch sunset, China Walls. So if you want to watch an amazing sunset, head to China Walls. Grab a couple 